First at 5.30, Mall Fall. A man drops off the side of an escalator at Providence Place. Eyewitnesses say he was fooling around when it happened, trying to jump onto the railing. Now tonight, he's still in the hospital being treated for his injuries. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler joins us now live with our top local story. Well, that victim is now in fair condition at Rhode Island Hospital, recovering from his 20-foot fall. Police suspect the Providence man may have been drinking before the incident. The police investigation continues at Providence Place Mall three days after a city man falls from a first floor escalator. Rescuers rush to a department store entrance just before midnight Friday, finding 23-year-old David Rosati unconscious and bleeding from the face. According to the police report, Rosati's friend was waiting on the first floor when he spotted his friend try to slide down the escalator railing. After traveling about a foot, Rosati lost his balance, falling backwards and plunging 20 feet down. Eyewitnesses told police on scene he was, quote, messing around prior to the fall. This mall customer says he's not surprised. I've seen young people in there fooling around and trying to slide down the, the railing in there. And a lot of them make it, but I guess this one didn't. This isn't the first escalator fall at the mall in recent years. A New Hampshire man died after falling from an escalator in January 2006. Two others suffered critical injuries, a Massachusetts woman in 2004 and a Cranston man in 2006. One mall worker calls the fall a stupid mistake. If he's sliding down an escalator how he shouldn't be, and obviously there are signs clearly posted about how not to go down an escalator, and he did it, I mean, that's sort of his fault, but I hope he's okay. Again, Rosati is recovering well at Rhode Island Hospital, cur currently in fair condition. Providence Place mall officials declined to comment on the incident. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News. No at five